In 2011, as the Arab Spring surged across the Middle East, Bahrain, a small island nation in the Persian Gulf, experienced its own revolutionary wave. Protesters took to the streets, demanding political reforms, more representation, and a voice in the governance of their nation. The Pearl Roundabout in the capital city of Manama became an emblematic site for these demonstrations. Day and night, it echoed with calls for democracy and justice, resonating with similar movements across the region. Yet, Bahrain's uprising did not receive the same international media coverage as its counterparts in Tunisia, Egypt, or Libya. It was overshadowed, perhaps due to its size, the interests of its powerful allies, or geopolitical intricacies. The monarchy in Bahrain, led by the Al Khalifa family, responded to the uprisings with a heavy hand. They enlisted the support of neighboring Gulf states like Saudi Arabia, leading to a swift crackdown on protests. The government dismantled the iconic Pearl Monument at the roundabout, hoping to erase this symbol of dissent. Activists were arrested, many faced torture, and several lost their lives. Over the years, the international community's attention shifted away from Bahrain. But whispers of dissent, tales of injustice, and stories of resilience lingered in the backdrop, waiting for a moment to resurface. Fast forward to the present. There are signs that the spirit of that revolution is re-emerging. New demonstrations are budding, and online activism related to the 2011 protests is gaining traction. One may wonder why now? The scars from the past crackdown are still visible. Families are still mourning the loss of their loved ones, and countless activists remain imprisoned. There's a prevailing thought that economic pressures are reigniting the calls for reform. Bahrain's economy, dependent on oil like its neighbors, has faced challenges with fluctuating global oil prices. The youth unemployment rate remains worryingly high, and the COVID-19 pandemic has only exacerbated the existing financial challenges, widening the gap between the rich and the poor. Economic struggles often kindle political frustrations. When the masses grapple with joblessness and financial insecurities, they become more vocal about their demands for better governance and transparency. Additionally, the changing geopolitical landscape of the Middle East could be playing a role. With Gulf countries normalizing ties with Israel and shifting alliances, traditional power dynamics are being redefined. Bahrain, with its strategic location, has always been a pivot in the geopolitical chessboard of the region. Any significant change in its socio-political fabric could impact the broader Middle East narrative. However, the government seems determined not to let history repeat itself. Security measures have tightened around potential protest sites, and there's an evident increase in online surveillance. Activists have reported more frequent run-ins with the law, with many facing charges related to spreading false news or inciting hatred against the government. But the digital age offers new tools. Encrypted messaging apps, virtual private networks, VPNs, and the vast reach of social media allow activists to communicate, organize, and raise global awareness about their cause. The international community, especially human rights organizations, are more vigilant this time around. The past decade has taught them the importance of keeping a keen eye on Bahrain, given its history. Reports from Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch highlight the ongoing human rights violations in the country, pushing for international sanctions and demanding the release of political prisoners. Among the local population, there's a mixed sentiment. While some remain optimistic about the possibility of renewed revolution and change, others are wary, having seen the cost of dissent firsthand. Bahrain's story is not just about a revolution stifled or a movement quelled. It's a testament to the resilience of its people, their dreams of democracy, and the lengths they will go to seek justice. The question remains, is Bahrain on the cusp of another uprising? Only time will tell. But one thing is clear, the embers from 2011 have not been entirely extinguished. They've been smoldering, waiting for the winds of change. The country stands at a crucial juncture. The choices made by its leaders, its people, and the international community will shape its future trajectory, either towards a more inclusive and democratic state or return to the status quo. For observers and allies, it's vital to understand that Bahrain's situation is not isolated. It is intertwined with the broader challenges and shifts happening across the Middle East. As the pages of history turn, Bahrain's forgotten revolution may find its rightful place, not as a footnote but as a pivotal chapter in the annals of the region's quest for democracy and justice. The nation's future remains uncertain, but the spirit of its people, their hopes, dreams, and indomitable will, shine as a beacon for change, not just in Bahrain, but across the world. Thanks for watching Middle East Info. 
please consider liking and subscribing for more insightful content on this fascinating region.